Hey guys, Tux here, and in this particular video I want to talk about Pokemon figures you can buy on eBay, okay? You guys know I collect these little figures, I absolutely love these detailed, awesome little sculpts you can get in the Pokemon box sets, or you can buy individually through the Pokemon Center or different sources. I'm not a big fan of the, the fake ones, the counterfeit ones, but you know, sometimes there are some cute ones, I'm not necessarily opposed to buying them, um, but I really prefer to buy the real thing because they're so awesome and detailed. Now recently on eBay, on a moment of weakness, um, I went ahead and ordered a set of Pokemon figures that seemed incredibly cheap. It was like, like five bucks shipped or two bucks shipped or something. I don't remember the price, but it was super low. I mean, it costs, it was basically giving them away for free with shipping, you know? And it took a long time. They came from China. And so I kind of, I kind of had forgot I was even gonna get them. And then lo and behold, I get this little teeny package in the mail. And at first I wasn't even sure what the heck it was. And then I remember it was like, oh yeah, from China. Okay, this must be those little Pokemon figures. So I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure feeling this package, it feels like a bunch of little figures. And I think they're they're way smaller than any of these cool detailed ones you can you know buy in box sets. Um, so these are going to be pretty cheap. But let's take a look and see what you get on eBay if you're buying a bunch of cheap counterfeit Pokemon figures. So let's see what we have here. Now it'd be great if they were legit and real, but... Um, from the sound of it, from the price of it, they've got to be counterfeits here. Let's see what happens here. We open them up, and in the package, it is packaged very nicely. Um, oh, very cute little packaging. Very nice. Especially for you. Looks like they packaged uh, this little Swordman Pokemon just for me. Now, yeah, you can tell these are pretty cheap here. But let's take a look at these and um, see what we get for, like, under five bucks. Okay, I'll just pour them out here. Alright, so very cute little wrapper. I like the way it's, especially for you, kind of cute. And we have some cute little Pokemon here. Now, these of course you can tell just looking at the bottles. Um, these are, you know, made in China. These are definitely not official figures. They're smaller scale than the actual real figures. But, you know what, for, for a buck or whatever, they're kind of cute. Look at that. Very nice. Um, so if you're looking for some cheap figures, this is the kind of thing you get. Now this plastic feels like, um, it feels like very hard plastic. Um, you know, just regular, like, I don't know, I don't know, it's not rubbery, there's no kind of, like, um, movement to them, you can't wiggle the tails, it's like one solid piece of plastic, if you can see that. Okay. But there is, like, some painting, you can see there's a couple colors, the eyeball's blue, the mouth is pink, you know, it's got a couple tones of gray to it. So some of these are pretty cute. Let's take a look, like, I kind of like this one, actually. This one's kind of cute, oops, if I can hold it properly. Looking good. Like the detail on that. That's probably my favorite one. This is pretty cute. Nice. Let's see. That one, the painting is kind of kind of bad. He looks a little sick or something. I don't know. Got some classic Pokemon. This could maybe not even be a Pokemon. This just looks like random bird, to be honest with you. But um, I'm sure it's you know a Pokemon. So is that. Definitely a Pokemon, definitely super cheap. This one's kind of cute. I think this one's worth it. I like the detail on that, cute expression. Little pink in the, pink in the cheeks. Looking good, little tail. This, one, this one's a winner. This one's got some good color variations, but just uh, detailing, like look at the eyeball, it's like weird on one side, bigger on the other. Not very good detailing to it, but I guess since it's made in China and, you know, it's like a bag for a dollar or something, I guess I can't expect too much. This one's pretty cheap, just like two colors. Doesn't exactly look like the Pokemon. This one's kind of funny, I like this one a little more. The detailing's not very good, but at least it has like kind of a cool expression and some different colors on it, which is nice. <laughs> uh, not the right colors, but interesting. This one's kind of cool. I like the shape of it and everything. It's got some cool, like, little bumps and things. Very plain. It's like three colors. This one looks pretty true to the Pokemon. I'll give it that. I like the pink. At least it's a brighter color than black or something. Feels very, very cheap plastic. 
This one's kind of cute. This is not one of my favorite Pokemon in the world, but the sculpt is pretty good. And I like it. <laughs> it's kind of a weird expression. Uh, okay. This one looks pretty good. And here we go. Nice sculpt to it. Kind of limited in the paint, but nice. I'd say out of all these, my favorite ones are probably... I love this one here. Super cute. You can see that. And then, um, let's see. I think that this one's pretty cute. Nice detail to it. I like the little smile. It's cute. And this one here is pretty cool too. So, anyway guys, um, this is what you get if you're interested in buying some cheap Pokemon figures on eBay for a dollar. This is pretty much what you get. My review would be basically, I mean honestly, I'd probably save your money and buy some like really nice detailed real ones. The real ones have like beautiful sculpts and the plastic's better quality. Some parts of them are flexible, some parts of them are hard, you know. Um, they're much nicer. Some of them have just, you know, amazing, like this one here, again, to show this is just totally amazing, the, the sculpt in this. There's so much detail and so much work put into making this being a beautiful little figure. Um, you know, you just don't get that in a dollar figure. And um, so it's probably worth it to save your money and buy, like, the real ones with, you know, part translucent plastic, part painted, you know, lots of cool little details. Um, the real ones you can usually get for free when you buy a box set or it's you know, included in the price, but for about a $20 box set you get a figure and some cards and the value of the cards is really usually the value of the whole box so the figure is really just kind of a bonus. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're into Pokemon figures, be sure and let me know and also be sure and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. We do have the 1100 subscriber giveaway going on right now so enter, say enter me in the comments below until October 1st, 2015, 11.59pm and you can have your name in the hat to win some cool prizes including this month we do have a Pokemon Anibo we're giving away, brand new sealed. We have some uh, Halo little Mega Block sets and um, some Littlest Pet Shops. So some very cool stuff we're giving away for free. So be sure and enter, and we'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Bye-bye.